I think the most money I've ever spent in a month is uh, $271,000. What's up, guys? It's Swaggy C, and this is not men's health, but they gave us the idea. So you guys are about to watch me talk about the best money I've ever spent and the worst money I've ever spent. So, first thing, this Louis Vuitton bag. I think I spent like $2,500 on it. Um, and I just wanted, you know, a duffel bag. So I just got a Louis Vuitton one and I swear it's not that big of a deal. Um, I find myself using like my Nike book bag a lot of the times or a bag from Amazon. Um, when people have Louis Vuitton bags and walk on like it's the you know, craziest thing in the world, it confuses me because I have it and it's cool, but I don't need it. It's $2,500 down the drain. Next up, exactly what I have on. Um, my jewelry, I have three chains, I have a Rolex, and I have, well, no, this is not the worst. This is a wedding ring. This is a wedding ring. Bailey will kill me. Uh, the Rolex and all of this, um, it's not as bad as the Louis uh, V. It's way more expensive. This is like $110,000, but the Swaggy one means a lot to me, and the Kobe Bryant, you know, Mamba one means a lot to me. You know, I got it a few months after he died, but the Cuban and the Rolex was just accessories, and... I hear people all the time, you know, when I watch GQ and Men's Health talk about like, I wouldn't give my jewelry, you know, away, but it definitely is money wasted. And I kind of feel the same way because I can't get that 110 grand back. I don't need it, but I find myself looking at this like, it's been seven days. I haven't put it on yet. Oh, I'm going to dinner? Okay, I'm gonna put it on. Then the next seven days, I'm not wearing it. So it's just a weird thing. Um, it's all cool. It's flashy, I guess. But it does allow me to express myself because people have tattoos, you know, all over their body to express themselves. For me, I have chains. You know, it kind of talks about who I am, who Swaggy C is, and it's not permanent. I can take it off whenever I want, so. I'm gonna put this as some of the worst, but like, it's not really because it was very useful, right, Also, Like, us but being here, it was useful, but this penthouse is close to $30,000 a month. And, you know, we've been here for four or five months. That's already 150 k um, we, we can easily go to Texas or Florida or Nevada and get, you know, a big mansion for that price. Um, we've done a lot if you watch Secure the Swag, but if I had to place it on the best or the worst money I've spent, $30,000 a month is a lot of money anywhere you go. So it's definitely some of the worst money I've spent. Lastly, people, right, Austin? Um, I, I did like a spreadsheet and um, literally over half a mil, probably maybe a little bit less, but close to that number um, has been to people and I could not get that back. Um, you guys, when you're watching this video, when you, you come across a lot of money, um, you start making it consistently and the world knows about it. People you haven't talked to since the fifth grade and in high school will reach out to you and talk about their problems and how much debt they're in and this and that. And me being the fool, I understand what it was like when I was in that situation. So I was just literally chucking 20,000, 30,000, 20, 40, 20, 10, 15, left and right to people just to help them get their, like out of that situation. Um, and it's definitely some of the worst money I've spent because I was giving a lot of money away and I haven't heard from them since then or in like six months. So it's definitely a lesson learned. I hope you guys can take that advice and be smarter when you come across money. The people who you haven't talked to, who helped you get here, it's like that, that meme where it says when you're working, the stadium is empty, but the minute you get to this level, it's like the whole stadium is full and everybody's like, oh, I knew you could do it. No, you didn't. Um, hopefully you don't do what I did and start giving money out to people just because you feel sorry for them. Um, and you just focus on yourself, your family, and the people who, you know, was there for you when you were uh, grinding. Let's go on a positive note. Best money I've ever spent. It's not just this book. Um, first things first, everybody knows how much I love The Richest Man of Babylon. It is by far um, my favorite book ever in the world. Uh, all of my money knowledge comes from here. But I have a whole collection. You know, my library's over there. I have probably 300 books uh, over there, um, somewhere in my other office. Um, and all of it combined is only probably like, how much do you think it is? $3,000, $4,000? It's like $10 a book, like $3,000, $5,000. And I, I'm telling you right now, like I'm not one of these people who are just like, knowledge and no, I'm not like that. But the $3,000 or the $5,000 I spent on, you know, all of my books over the last five or six years has gotten me here because I've read so much and 
have taken so much information from people who have been there and um, collectively put it all together and created my own foundation. Um, and it definitely cut the learning curve when I wanted to get on this entrepreneur path. Um, Richard Man in Babylon comes with me everywhere, flight, um, driving, no matter, I take this with me everywhere. Um, but all of my books, easily the best money I've ever spent, easily. Number two, equipment. Um, I have, how many cameras do we have, Austin? Five? Five cameras, one computer, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, laptop, ten. We have about 11 computers, including laptops. Um, <laughs> like four or five microphones, gimbals. We have so much equipment here. Um, I'm not even gonna put a price point on how much I've spent on that. We spent $58,000 on two computers alone. The cameras themselves are 20, so you can imagine how much money we spent on everything. But it, it easily is the best money I've spent by far because you guys are watching me right now on the camera with the lights, with the microphone as you see right here. Um, and it's gonna get edited on the Mac Pro. That's what it is, right? The most expensive Mac Pro known to man. Secure the swag, all my market breakdown videos, my lifestyle videos, my whole academy, just everything in general. Um, it allowed me to get there. Um, YouTube, what YouTube pays me per month, just making videos and showing my life to you guys, already covers the cost of everything. So it easily, you know, had an ROI. You know, I got my uh, investment back as opposed to just giving money away and spending it on things that don't pay me back. So uh, yeah, easily the best money I've spent by far. Um, me and Austin just like to keep ourselves updated, so. Third, my car, the Tesla, same with Bailey. Um, it's safe. Cool, reliable, most importantly, it can drive for me. Um, on the highway, if I press the little button, it literally drives, changes lanes, gets off the exit, it does exactly what I need it to do, um, and I appreciate that. Um, you know, TJ got on me for not having a Lamborghini or a Bentley. I have a, a huge pet peeve with people who, you know, get on the streets and it's like, yeah, I, I hate it, bro. It's like, like, I can buy a Lamborghini tomorrow if I want to. I don't want it. I, I'd rather have a car that is useful, for me, um, and that is the Tesla. So, I love it. Giving back, and I know I said people as, you know, some of the worst money, but I'm gonna put it as the best money as well. Um, there is such a gap between people who have money and people who don't, and it mind boggles me. Um, I do remember where I came from, but, you know, when I go to restaurants or order on DoorDash or Postmates, everybody knows that I'm a big tipper. Like, Austin, when we're at restaurants, he will, like, look over to see how much money I'm giving. Like, I know he does that, same with Bailey, um, because I will give a $300 tip, a $500 tip, $200 tip. Like, stuff that's not that big of a deal to me can make somebody's day and change somebody's whole outlook and attitude on the day. Um, and to know I, I had a, a part in that uh, means a lot. I just ordered a uh, $10 you know, order from Postmates yesterday and I just gave a girl a $60 tip. Um, and she cried. Same with the guy I gave a hundred dollar tip to from DoorDash two weeks ago. He cried too. And it's just like, I don't, you know, put my at name like, oh, I'm swaggy C and I don't do it for clout, none of that. I just put Chris or, you know, I, you know, I appreciate you. Don't even worry about it. Just close the door. Like, I'm just, you know, blessed to be in a position to actually help people. And um, that is definitely the, some of the best money I've ever spent. There's no ROI on that per se, but for me, the ROI is happiness. You know, somebody can have a great day off of something that I did. And I'll do that every single time. But overall, the best money I've ever spent, you know, Bailey too, that we both ever spent, is a right-hand man in Austin, who's right over there in the corner. By far, it's, like when you have a, a right hand man who's on the same level as you, the brand just elevates. Like the brand, like if I didn't have Austin here, I probably would've gotten here and here and here. Austin came, room. So if I can tell you guys, if you have, if they have money. If they don't have money, I'm sorry, but if you have money, invest in somebody else. And I can tell you for a fact, me and Austin tried to find a Chris and Austin part three and it fails and it fails and it fails. So we got to fire and fire and fire and fire. But if you can find, it's just like investing. You find that one gold mine, it's a wrap. Your business will explode, your brand will explode. And um, that's the best money baby and I have spent so far. <laughs> I, I just thought of it just now, just like, the, the computers is all good, but like somebody has to put it together. 
Um, overall, guys, this is not men's health, but this is Swaggy C. And um, I appreciate you guys for watching the best money and the worst money ever spent. Hopefully, you guys can find some value with it and take it for yourself. And next time, men's health sponsor us so we can do it together next time. Thank you guys.